Hey guys, it's time for another episode of Cooking with Kelsey, Irish edition. In honor of St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to show you guys how to make Irish soda bread, which is really good for stew, just eat on its own, or that's probably about it. <laughs> so for the ingredients, we're going to use flour, and I have both whole wheat and just regular white flour, just to be a little bit healthier. I'm going to mix the two, um, but you can use either one. Uh, sugar, salt, baking powder, sour cream, caraway seeds, uh, baking soda, raisins, and eggs. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees. First we're going to mix all of the dry ingredients into a large bowl. So go ahead and do three and a half cups of flour. Half a cup of sugar. Half a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons baking powder, and one teaspoon salt. In a separate bowl, I beat two eggs and then I'm going to stir in a pint of sour cream. And they usually don't have pint listed, it's 16 ounces, in case you were wondering. Looks pretty disgusting, but I swear you're doing it right. Add the egg and sour cream mixture into your bowl of dry ingredients. Then I'm going to go ahead and use a wooden spoon to stir that all in, and it's going to be a really thick batter. Add two tablespoons of caraway seeds. The caraway seeds are optional, but I think it really adds to the flavor, so I'd recommend doing it. And then add three quarters of a cup of raisins, and then mix that in with your hands. So here's what the batter looks like with the raisins and the caraway seeds all mixed in. Then you're going to want to put the batter in a greased pan. And ideally, you would be using a 9-inch springform pan, which has removable sides. But I unfortunately don't have one of those at my apartment, so I'm just using an 8x8 ceramic pan. And then I'm just kind of pressing it down to even out the crust. The last thing you do before you put it in the oven is make a shallow X across the top. And according to Irish folklore, this would help keep uh, mischievous spirits from getting a hold of your humble bread. But I also think it allows the bread just to expand a tiny bit. Then we're going to bake for 50 minutes at 350 degrees. So here's the finished bread. These little marks are from when I stuck in the knife to see if it was done. And the knife came out pretty clean. I ended up leaving the bread in a little bit over an hour just because the ceramic pan makes it take a little bit longer to bake. So here's the finished Irish soda bread. It is tasty. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great St. Patrick's Day. And if you try out the soda bread, please let me know how it goes. I'll see you soon. Bye.